Jessica Craven. I'm a master gardener and I have my certification in permaculture design. Today I'm going to talk to about how to use salt to kill snails in the garden. The first thing I want to tell you is you do not want to actually put salt on your soil because that will increase salinity and it will actually end up killing your plants. What you want to do is either one of two ways is to put salt into a dish so go ahead and do that right now. So you've got some salt crystals in your dish. And one thing that you could do is you can actually go out in the morning and the evening when there's more snails and slugs prevalent. And you can actually pick those slugs, pick those snails, and put them into the dish with the salt. And then just leave the dish with the salt with those slugs and snails very near your plants. The thing that's fascinating about slugs and snails is they actually like to eat their friends. <laughs> so by leaving quite a bit of salt in there and having those salted already snails and slugs in there, you'll attract and you might find quite a few slugs and snails. It might be quicker for you then to kill those other slugs and snails. The other thing that you could do is you can simply put a dish like this and basically make it flush in your garden or you can even dig it down so it's a little bit deeper um, so that it's more difficult for the slugs and snails to get out. And you can put in a lot of salt and they might go in there and just simply die. Another thing that you could do is you could make it a mixture of both salt and water. Another thing that people will do is they'll submerge maybe some beer in a container and then salt the edges so that as the snails or slugs crawl in to drink the beer because they're very attracted to that smell and the yeast is that they will get the, the salt on them and they'll die. So hopefully these tips have given you a way to control slugs and snails in your garden. Thank you.